Okay, so today I wanted to share with you a cute idea of how to adhere a picture or a saying onto a candle. And um, this is one that I've just recently done and it is such a super cute idea. And it, is, it says the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. And this was just a regular white candle. And I adhered this saying onto the candle. And so I wanted to share with you how to do this today. I also just recently purchased a heating tool, something I've never had. And I wanted to try it because when I did this candle, I had to use my pellet burning stove heat because my blow dryer heat wasn't hot enough. So things you're gonna need for this project. You are going to need a white candle or a cream candle. You can get the cream candles at the dollar store for a dollar. And this is one that I picked up from the dollar store. You are going to need some wax paper. You are going to need some white tissue paper. You're gonna need some blue painter's tape, some scissors. You're gonna need a piece of cardstock and you're gonna need your printer. And so, and then some kind of a heating tool. So let me show you how to do this. And we'll see how this heating tool works together because um, on Joanne's website, the reviews of this were not very good. But I bought it anyway because the reviews were seven years old and the most recent review was a year ago and the lady who wrote the review a year ago completely contradicted everything that people had written seven years ago. And so I thought, okay, well, she said that had she read the review, she wouldn't have bought this tool, but she bought the tool and it worked awesomely. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I got it for 80% off. And if it doesn't work, then I have the receipt and I'll return it. Okay, so what you're gonna need for the first part of this project is a piece of cardstock, and you want it to be kind of a thicker, sturdy cardstock. And you are gonna want a piece of your tissue paper that actually is smaller than the dimensions of your eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock that's going to fit into your printer. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to center this tissue paper onto your cardstock. and you are going to take your blue painter's tape, tape down your edges. And once you've taped down one side with the tissue paper, you don't wanna pull it too tight, but you do wanna smooth it out before you tape down your other side. And you don't want your tissue paper to have too many wrinkles in it. You want it to kind of, kind of be as straight as possible, so you might wanna run an iron over it. Okay, so I've got my tissue paper taped down onto my cardstock. Now I'm gonna take it over to my computer and my printer and I'm going to print up a picture or a saying that I wanna adhere onto my candle. You wanna make sure that whatever picture you're going to adhere onto this candle, you wanna make sure that it is sized correctly, that it's not too big, that it's not gonna wrap itself all the way around the candle. I mean, you want it to be proportionately sized so that way you know you can see it when your candle is facing you and you don't have to you don't have to turn the candle in order to see the whole picture. I printed out um, our recent family photo onto this tissue paper. So now all I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut out right around the picture. Okay, so I've got my tissue paper picture cut out and be careful not to rip it. And now I know that it is going to fit my candle nicely. So now what we're going to do is we are going to cut a piece of our wax paper. You want your wax paper to be wider than your picture. So I've got my wax paper cut and it is bigger than my picture itself. Okay, another thing that I just thought of that you might wanna have is a uh, heating mitt, an oven mitt. 
because uh, it might get a little bit hot because you will be holding your candle. So um, you might wanna grab yourself a heating mitt as well. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to place our picture where we want it or our saying. And I'm gonna make sure it's nice and even. And I'm not worried about the brown stripe not being on the top, on the top here like it is on the sides because um, I am going to put crafting cord around the top here. And take your wax paper and cover the picture. And I am going to hold my candle and excuse the noise, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on the heating tool and we are going to evenly go up and down and all around with the heat on the picture over the wax paper. And what we're hoping for is that the wax paper, whatever wax is on the wax paper, will seep through the tissue paper underneath and then it will cover the tissue paper and then your candle will slightly get heated and it will all adhere together. So let's see if this heating tool does that. Fingers crossed. Oh, I can tell it's already working. I can see the wax melting. See it where it's looking a bit wet? That's what you want. Yay! That is exactly what we were hoping for. That wet look on the candle. Oh yeah, that is working beautifully. I'm happy. see a dry spot. Okay, so as you can see, the picture looks brighter and more vibrant because the wax wet was wet. So we're gonna let it just set here for a couple minutes. We're gonna let the wax dry and harden, and then we're going to try and peel the wax paper up off of the picture. Okay, so the wax paper is still on and it is cooled off and dried. So now we are going to gently peel back the wax paper. Isn't that cool? Another fun way to personalize your candles if you don't want to print out a picture or a saying would be to grab some gel pens and have your little one draw a picture or write something. What an awesome Mother's Day gift for grandparents or even your husbands to do. If you're a husband and you're watching this video, go grab some tissue paper, grab some gel pens, go pick up a candle and have your kids write a message on this tissue paper, draw mom a picture and adhere this onto the candle. They are gonna love it. The only thing I say is that when you're writing on this tissue paper, you have to be super gentle not to rip it because it is so thin that it will rip. Allie wrote this one here for her grandma and um, I did this one. So we're gonna put one on one side and one on the other. And I know that if my husband did this for me for Mother's Day, it would probably make me cry and I would love it. And here you have it, our finished product of Allie's gift to grandma. And 
As you can see, there is no seam here. There is no line. You can't feel a seam at all of where the tissue paper was. And that's because we put the wax paper on top. And so I can't reiterate enough, when you're doing this and you're using your heat source over the wax paper that's on top of your tissue paper, don't be in a hurry, take your time. Here's the other side that I did. And you cannot see any lines because the wax paper just melts it right onto the candle and it just looks so pretty. So this is a three wick candle pillar that I made for my dad for his upcoming birthday. And that's me and my family on this side and turn it around. And then there's my brother and his family. And I'm not quite done with it, but on the side here, I'm gonna put a real nice saying about love and family. But you know what an awesome gift as well to do a three wick candle a bigger candle like that I is we well. hope you guys loved this idea too i love this this is going to go on the mantle of my fireplace and um it turned out absolutely beautifully and i hope you like it i am super happy with um the derice heating tool this worked amazing. You can get it on sale at Joann's for $11.99. And if you use your 20% off, your additional 20% off clearance and sale items, um, you can get it for under $10. And what an awesome tool. And I'm so glad that I invested into it. So everybody, give me a thumbs up, please, if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, because I guarantee you'll love them. I hope you have a fantastic day today and until next time, happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.